are in a Bayak Orchard. The Rustok is uh, G11 is going in the fifth leaf and um, the crop was around uh, 20 25 beans uh, uh, in the current in the last season okay so what we notice is that the tree are feathered so they got good feather and they have been click pruning from the beginning it's a kind of good example so that they have been click pruning and then you got one two three opening situation and then has been click pruned again here and probably they will be click pruned again here so when you got a situation like that this can be the beginning of your renewal and uh, you can crop here and here at the same time you are preparing for some renewal here and here for the for the for the 2022 okay in uh, in the tree looks good they have a quite a good flower bud formation the quality of the bud is good and you see the size is quite important and uh, they have been also summer pruned in september so there is no need of uh, a lot of pruning honestly just uh, the click and some thinning cut you know for basic uh, 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 you know penetration of light or just to simplify some situation so look in this case here you got uh, this situation this is start to be a really big and we want to get rid of some of those big limbs here because uh, the top is, is becoming really thin in the in in the, in, in, the, in the upper part of the tree probably it's time to start over and remove some of those start over again here there is a bud and uh, also in this situation here you don't want to to keep this situation you have to simplify and and get going with the, with the new one that is here so and um, again you click prune here and uh, this can be simplified it's already too complicated in my mind and it's okay and here you go again like that here you got fruit fruit and this one is exhausted but probably we can trim it and trim it here again here this is kind of extinction but you still got uh, uh, one two flower bed this was a scar of last year but you have a renewal here so you prepare your renewal and then you can do that you you prune out here in the way that probably you got to shoot or eventually you 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 are going in this direction next year when you prune next year you can take out this one that uh, cropped in 2021 and prepare something for 2022 here they they tie down the branch to the wire it is an option if you want and uh, you need to avoid a little bit overlapping but and trim them in, um, in in this kind of size so not not too short because they get blind if you cut too short again on this side we, we trim it this is okay this is okay here we got a kind of uh, complexity probably we want to get rid of uh, this complexity and start over and and do something like that here they have been already pruned in uh, in summer probably we can trim like that this guy here this one is coming out there is a flower bud here you can do that and keep going this one probably is already too blind this is a case where probably going up probably the, you see that the tree is weak and you don't want to overcrop otherwise you end up with a blind point and you got only few spools that are coming back so in this case here this is a, is a good example of uh, starting over a branch for renewal. So, and it's time to probably do a 10-15% renewal also in, in this good tree. This is another good candidate to be renewed. And probably I will do something like that. And uh, something like that. With the top, I will switch. Here, you, you, you short you short this guy here probably you can start over completely this one you want to start over because you don't want to 
crop to match the top and probably from this wire to the top I don't recommend a lot to, to prune so don't because it, to, to crop because otherwise you shut down completely the growth and this is uh, how we can handle the situation on this side of the tree we have the same situation you can decide that some of them if you want you can keep longer but I still you don't need it because you've got plenty of flower and uh, probably I'm going to short them like it is here and here too this one is coming down and and, and there are some of uh, of the bud that are already completely blind like this one or or this one but I have a fruit in this case I'm um, and another fruit here I'm done touching I I, I, I want to to crop those fruit uh, for, for the season and then I in any case I got to renewal in many places so what you can see here that is you have a mix of uh, wood that are ready to produce in 2021 uh, wood that uh, will be removed completely uh, next year and the wood that is preparing to, to produce flower bud for 2022 so and uh, and with uh, with the biax you got so many shoot that normally you can rotate them quite easily okay uh, we can go back to the other axe and this is a kind of interesting situation so in many cases you end up with uh, you see with with a, a bifurcation here there is a, was a split and then another split probably now it's time to simplify the situation so you can do a like here a clean cut here go with this guy here this will be your new things uh, and and then you you end up with saving this bud to have a new one so fruit fruit another bud and here you are building up the new wood for for next year different situation here you got uh, one bud probably here you want to go back and see if you can push back something uh, to grow again here short and then here you you click you you click and here you start over completely the, the top are weak so probably it's better to to short uh, some of them you know you i as i say before there are a lot of spores that normally is uh, those are related to the low vigor you want to thin again from this wire to the top okay not the, because otherwise you shut down too much the grow and you got already plenty of tree for, for cropping and um these have to be short again here this is tied down but you see same situation that we described before hanging down already blind but good bud here take it and here you click prune here, you crop, and it's good. Here, there are a lot of spores that are exhausted, uh, but there is a couple of good bud, I'm taking them. Same story here. I'm not doing, so this is a kind of permanent branches. Uh, you know, you can decide uh, to go back uh, after it's exhausted. And for example, next year, you can cut this branch here and start over again. This is still a good bud. Probably it would be wise to do this cut this year but it's tied to the to the to the to the wire i'm not going to remove it and on this side here again i click here i got one bud again another bud here uh, here has been pruned in summer so probably if uh, one one note for 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 this thing this is really short i know that it has been done in summer but probably i will stab a little bit longer also if it's in september because i got only one and then you will have probably a strong reaction if you leave two or three you will have always one week to to to, to do some you know flower bud uh, for for the following year again here click prune this is too long you 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 prune it like that and prune is done so it's uh, not really complicated only a, a, a fine you know prune uh, a really not heavy prune and probably this at the beginning can be okay but uh, now it's not uh, 
probably something that you want to keep over your tree because it can reduce too much the vigor of the of the top so not big scaffold in the, in the bottom part of your tree and and what i really like in this orchard is the balance so you see that all the branches more or less are the same there is no one that is becoming too strong and you got plenty of bud uh, formed uh, um, you know on this kind of uh, click pruned uh, uh, formation here and i think we are done with the pruning just one last cut here on this side and we are good